Opportunity Melbourne is the second-hand op shop run by Community Health Service. A new chair is appointed to its committee and wants to make sure that her committee members are all suitable to be on the governing body. She asked the op shop manager to search for each of their names on the ASIC Disqualified Persons Register and the ACNC's Register of Disqualified Persons. She also asked the committee members to sign a declaration stating that they are not disqualified and that they will say if they do become disqualified at any stage in the future. All agree to sign the declaration. The searches of the registers show that none of the committee members are disqualified from managing a corporation or are disqualified by the ACNC. Opportunity Melbourne does not have any reason to believe that they are disqualified. Opportunity Melbourne meets the standard. May's Van is a small charity that provides meals to people experiencing homelessness. The charity is looking to appoint Joe Pellegrin as a member of the board. Before appointing him, they checked the ASIC Disqualified Persons Register and the ACNC's list of disqualified persons. They find that he isn't on either of the lists. They also ask him to sign a declaration saying that he is eligible to be a member of the board. Mr Pellegrin refuses to sign the declaration. After asking Mr Pellegrin why, the board finds out that he was convicted of one of the offences mentioned in the declaration, but that was about 15 years ago. Mays Van contacts the ACNC and is advised that this does not make him unsuitable under the standard. This is because sufficient time has passed since the conviction for this offence, which means that he qualifies as a responsible person despite the conviction. There are different time periods set out for each offence, so Mays Van contacts the ACNC again to clarify. Mays Van prints a copy of the ACNC's Responsible Persons Guidance and Checklist and gives it to Mr Pellegrin. He learns about the time periods and signs the declaration. Mays Van meets the standard. The Good Ship Enterprise is an incorporated association that provides business training and work for disadvantaged people. It has conducted the checks of the ASIC and ACNC registers and has declarations from its committee members that none of them are disqualified and that they will say if they do become disqualified at any point in the future. However, they find out that one of their committee members has become bankrupt. She has not been discharged for that bankruptcy and is disqualified from being a responsible person. The committee asks her to resign, but she refuses. Under its rules, she can only be removed by a general meeting of the members, so the committee calls the general meeting. If the members decide to remove her, the good ship meets the standard. If the members decide not to remove her, the committee should contact the ACNC for advice.